Hey guys, what's up? Due to popular demand, I guess, I'm going to be doing a short video on my Battle Arrow chest mount wing. I've had a lot of questions about it, like how do I get my trunk, how hard was the install, blah blah blah. So I'm just gonna try to cover all of it. Uh, I'll do like a adjustment demonstration. I already did the wing install video. I mean, it wasn't really a how-to, but at least you can kind of get the idea of what I went through. I'll put the link to that video in the description. If you want to get in your trunk a lot, don't get a chassis mount. Get a uh, deck mounted. So I'll go ahead and adjust it, and then I'll show you all that. And then after I get it adjusted, I'll, uh, I'll kind of review everything. There's a bolt inside of this, like literally right behind this bend on both sides. You're going to remove that, and then you're going to loosen this bottom bolt on both sides, depending on you know what orientation you set it up with. All you're gonna need are these wrenches, depending on the size of hardware you're running. For me, it's two 13s. All right, I got those loosened. Now you just kind of Lock it back. It'll go back pretty far, but I mean, that should be enough to get in the trunk. There you go. That couldn't have taken me, but maybe a minute or so. I mean, I don't really need to get in my trunk. I don't use my trunk anyway, because I have my trunk set up in here. It'll rock all the way back until you run out of adjustment right here. This is your little adjustment guy. I only have to move it back that much to get the amount of clearance I need, but you can, you can roll it all the way back or whatever. Close your trunk. Rock it back up. Cool, that's it. As long as you have two wrenches, it should be remotely easy. Um, one thing I do suggest, if you do want this to be easily accessible, cut that stock diffuser out right there. You can see I just reached right up under it and I was able to get to the bolts I needed to. It's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult if you have that stock diffuser. If you have that stock diffuser, you might not want this. If you want to get in your trunk often, I really don't recommend getting this set up anyway. There's no way you'd be able to open it without moving that or come in contact with those arms. What other questions have I got? This is a 74 inch, um, basically fiberglass, the FRP. I actually bought it used from one of my buddies in Hawaii, Alex or Ahab on Instagram. I believe you could get it 70, so you could get it a little bit shorter. I personally wanted the 74 because it kind of matches. It's not quite as wide as the car, but it's almost there. I feel like the 70, or whatever the smaller size is would be a little bit too small and it'll look kind of awkward. I bought all of like the, the arms and the bash bar section. I bought from Battle Arrow brand new. You don't have to buy 
the deck to buy the um, buy the mounting kit if you don't want to. They're, they're pretty cool. They're willing to work with you. You just gotta contact them and ask them. I made these ones based off of the red ones I had. These are just, these are just made out of um, ABS because I didn't want the red that it came with. When I first did the install video, I had the red ones on there and a lot of you guys were saying you didn't like them. I like them, just not on my car because it doesn't, I don't really have any other bright colors on my car. It's pretty much black, white, and gold. So I decided to go ahead and make a black alternative. I do know if you're going to order the full carbon fiber wings from Battle Arrow or really any of the 74 inch, it's like a four month wait or a five month wait right now. I got a question asked the other day why I went with the Battle Arrow, not the Street Faction. Um, the Street Faction is awesome. I really enjoyed their design, but it's not adjustable. As soon as you install it, you're not gonna be able to get in your trunk. They don't have that little pivot point so you can clock it back to get in your trunk if you need to. At least personally, I had this question too. Before I bought this, I was really worried about the wobble. It's gonna wobble. It's gonna wobble no matter what. It's, see it's seeing heavy wind resistance. Whenever you go over bumps, depending on how stiff your suspension is, it's gonna move, it's gonna flex. That's just, that's just how it is. They give you these two cross member arms that goes where those red guys are. They're not adjustable. You just kind of mount them and go but I felt like it wasn't really bracing the arms as well as it could. So I went ahead and I made guess, cable braces. Basically, you can adjust them here to tighten them up. Uh, one thing I definitely did though, is I went around and I got all the um, tools for each individual piece of hardware like down there, up there. It's a couple different variations of hardware. I made a little kit. I made this kit when I originally went air. You got your little air cutting line and stuff like that. My wheel locks, a couple tools and stuff. But since I did the chassis mount and the chassis mount splitter, I went ahead and put a variation of sockets in that I know I'll need. And I have spare hanger, spare airline, ratchets, red tape, you know, just the essentials. The hex keys are down there, zip ties, stuff like that. In the event that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to a destination that's, you know, a couple hours away and God forbid the wing gets loose or I hit a tire and my, my splitter needs to come off. The wing is 100% adjustable. I have it adjusted as low as it can be in the front and it, not quite as high as it can be in the rear, but you do have that adjustment. So you can lift it in the front, you can lower it, lift it in the rear, whatever you wanna do. And down here, you can have it mount more than an inch of adjustment. You can hug this whole thing down a little bit more and it'll sink the overall height down. Yeah, if you're, if you're not looking for something aggressive, this definitely isn't the wing for you, at least in my opinion. A lot of guys are going with the deck mounts. I don't mind the deck mounts, but you do have to put holes in your trunk. I'd rather put holes in a bumper that I already cut for the stock diffuser. And I've just noticed a lot of trunk deck warping when people are putting these 70 plus inch wings on their deck. So overall, ease of installation of the Battle Arrow wing, not quite the easiest, but it's not quite impossible. You have to do a lot of measuring you have to do a lot of guesswork when you're cutting your rear bumper. I'll try to throw some of those clips in of how I did it. The hardest part was definitely cutting the bumper to get the arms to fit through the bumper. After you get that cut, everything else goes on really easy. It's super smooth. If I wanted to take everything off, I can guarantee you I could pull everything off in probably 10 minutes. A cool thing too is you could just pull off the, uh, the arms and the wing and you can leave the bash bar section on if you want. I personally don't mind how it looks. Some of you might, I mean, again, that all comes down to, you know, builder's preference.
If I were to rate this product, I'd rate it an eight out of 10. Um, I'm kind of a hard judge. The only reason why I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because there's no straightforward instructions with how to cut the rear bumper. I don't think I would have went another route unless I would just not have gone with the wing at all. How does it affect your rear view mirror, your backup camera, and your side mirrors when you have a chassis mount? You definitely see it. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't bother me. I still have my lines. Everything else is still the same. I have quite a good bit of visuals. I mean, you can't see behind that arm, but to me, that doesn't really bother me. As far as the mirror goes, I could still see everything just fine. This is my point of view for my mirrors. So I'm not really looking at the wing itself. I will do a video on this soon. I promised a couple of you I would do that. I promise I will. We've just been really busy. All in all, super pleased. I hope that video was informative or informative enough. If you guys have any other questions or whatever, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram or drop a comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer it. I know a lot of you guys are interested in the Battle Arrow chassis mount. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.